All right, we're back. While it may not feel like it right now, cold weather is right around the corner. Ashley will consult her on that in a second. <laughs> Many will start pruning rose bushes and other plants when the temperature drops. In this week's Next to Nature, we learn when and how to cut back. Welcome back to Next to Nature this week with Dr. John Long. And this week we are talking about pruning. Pruning. <laughs> Serious business. <laughs> Indeed. All right. So a lot of people, plants are starting to go dormant. That's right. And a lot of people start thinking about pruning or cutting back some of the uh, plants they have. We have a rose bush here. Right. Is it too early? You really have to be selective on any type of pruning you do in the fall. Mm -hmm. a, a more hardier plant, a more um, thicker cuticle plant or a more woody plant that, I'm, that you would have, those are better or can be pruned back other than more tender plants which would be more susceptible to disease. Okay. Because it's just like if you get a cut on your skin, if you open up you know, a, a, a plant when it's trying to kind of conserve energy, then that makes it more susceptible to disease or insect damage or things like that. And at this time of the year, that's very critical because that plant needs that energy to survive the winter time. Now, such as what we're doing here, this is what's called deadheading rose, rose bushes. And it's just like when you, the petals start to fall off and you get these, these dead, what they called dead heads on, yeah. the, on the roses. You can easily snap those off uh, with a sharp pair of pruners or just a knife or something like that. And sometimes you can even break them off with your, your fingers. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Now, if you look down here at the bottom of the, of the bush, the uh -huh. rose bush, I trimmed this back during the spring. Just we had some dead, dead uh, remnants of, the, of last year's that was coming out that had, was there during the winter time when it came out that that part was dead so I trimmed that back in the spring. Spring pruning is great because you got a lot of that energy is coming back out of the roots everything's starting to bloom you have plenty of sunlight plenty of warm weather to keep that growing going and then you can cut back on your on your uh, on your plants, plants. Mm -hmm, and bushes and things like that. So uh, you know when we uh, talk about this is sh should maybe even you get a list and kind of think about what maybe you want to prune yes. in winter. That's an excellent idea. Do your research. Find out what plants are better to prune in the fall because not, it's not a one size fits all as far as what you can and cannot prune uh, for the reasons we've mentioned. Uh, I know I've always uh, been told uh, to uh, cut your rose bushes back maybe in February. Mm -hmm. Any sense to that or science? I typically cut mine back uh, in the spring, early spring, okay. and because when they go pushing the, the those blooms out, it really gives them a good, you know, it, it encourages them to be pro prolific. Uh, I've always heard you can't, you can't, uh, cut a rose back rose bush back too much the, the more you cut it back the more they love it that's what I've what I've been told and that's been my experience too okay um, is you can't really cut it back too much and that's the reason I cut that one so low and you can see how much that that that's a new growth coming off of what I cut yeah and it's just it's starting to come back so or it did during the spring so I know I have a rose bush that uh, got hit by the weed eater and uh now it's starting to show some more growth. Right, um, right, right. Uh, down at the bottom. And there is a, a good way to prune too. Um, and I can show you on this, this dead portion down here on this rose. But when you do prune, you want to take, um, oh, if you can see it, but what I'm gonna do is I'll cut this right here. Okay. What you want to do is you want to take, you want to obviously attach the plant and you want to cut it on an angle. You don't want to cut it off even like that and that way is that it's just not abruptly cut off it still has that growing point down here and then it has some more room to grow too ah, so okay it helps a lot if you cut it on an angle um and and that really does help and you, like i said you can see how i did that down here on that lower part so. 
All right, well, there you go. Now you know how to prune and come up with a game plan. That's right. There you go. All right, thanks for joining us this week on Next to Nature. We'll see you back next week. Mm -hmm.